you. I am so excited to be with each and every one of you, and I want to say Happy New Year! Happy 2021! And kids, we're already 10 days into this year. How exciting! Well, I haven't been with you guys for a few weeks now, so how was your Christmas? Did you have a great Christmas? I hope you did. Well, kids, I would like to share with you guys something that happened at my house on Christmas. Kids, you'll never believe it. I won Monopoly! Yes, I won Monopoly! It was awesome! It was amazing! Kids, we've been playing this game in my house for a long time, for many, many years, and I never, ever have won. But I won Christmas Day! It was so exciting. It was so exciting. Well, kids, as we move on, I wanted to share with you that today we start a new series for the next four weeks, and we are going to be talking about prayer and fasting. So, kids, it's going to be an exciting adventure. We're going to dive deep into God's Word, and we're going to learn skills and how to develop our prayer life and fasting. So, kids, you know how I love to start, and that is with a word of prayer. So let's go ahead and pray and praise God. And while I'm praying, kids, if you want to thank God or praise God for something while I'm praying, make sure you pray individually yourselves. So, kids, I am going to pray a prayer um, from the Psalm 66 today. Verses one, uh, one through two. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for today. Lord, we praise your name, Lord, because you are worthy of our praises. And Lord, in Psalm 66, it says, shout joyful praises to you, all the earth. So Lord, you want everybody, everybody to shout praises to you. And Lord, we shout praises to you today. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. And so Lord, today we will sing, we will worship to you. And Lord, we will shout joy to others. And so God, I am so thankful to be here with all, um, all of the kids here today. And I look forward, Lord, to what you have for us. In your holy name we pray, amen. Amen, kids, that was a great prayer. So kids, are you guys ready to worship? I need you guys to stand up. We've got Evelyn and Peyton here, and they've got a great song for you guys. You know it. It's how great and how mighty our God is. So stand up and get ready to worship God. Evelyn and Peyton, take it away. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God So my 
Thank you, Evelyn and Peyton. What a great reminder in that song to remind ourselves there's nothing my God cannot do, right? I love that. Well, Bell and Joey is ready to um, be with us and join us today. So kids, let's check in with Bell and Joey. Good morning, kids. It's Joey, and I am so excited to be with all of you. Me too, Joey. Hi, kids. Happy New Year. It's 2021. Bella, have you heard Mom and Dad talk about how excited they were to welcome 2021? Yeah, Joey. They are so excited that it's January 2021. I think that coronavirus thing got to them. Yeah, it's been hard for a lot of people, and the coronavirus, it is still here. I am so thankful I have not had that. Me too. Kids, are you back at school? Belle and I started last week and yep, we're still at home doing school. Yeah, we'll be back, well, we're actually back doing our Zoom calls. Maybe in a few months we can go back to school. I would really like that. Me too. I miss my friends and my teacher and Katie, my friend Katie. Oh, I miss her. I haven't seen her in a long time. I miss my friends too. I know one thing we could do for our friends. What's that, Bella? We could pray for them. Pastor Sally's teaching on pray, praying and fasting, and we can pray for our friends, Joey. Yes, we can. This week, I called my friend Katie and asked, how, asked her how we could pray for her, and she told me, Joey, that she broke her finger while she was ice skating. Ouch, I bet that hurt. Yeah, let's pray. Okay, let's pray for her right now. Dear God, thank you for he for hearing our prayers today. I have a friend and her name is Katie and she broke her finger. God, can you heal her finger so it won't hurt and, and heal it so it's not crooked. She doesn't want a crooked finger, Lord. So Lord, be with her. Lord, you're the great healer. Thank you and amen. Amen. Praying is sure is important. Yes, it is, and God loves talking with all of us. I like to thank God for my food and my family. I like to thank God for my family and the talents he has given me. Talents? What talents? Well, I am a good baseball player. Yes, you are. God loves us for, God loves for us to thank him. Yes, he does. Well, kids, we need to keep praying, and it sounds like we have a lot to pray about. We can pray about our school, our friends, our family, and that virus to go away. That's a great start for sure, Bella. Well, kids, keep praying. Will you pray for us? We will pray for all of you. All right. Well, kids, it was a great day being with you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bella and Joey. Bye-bye. Well, Bella, we will definitely be praying for your friend's finger to heal just right. That is, I bet you that really hurt when she fell. All right, kids, it's joke time. And my friend Malachi has got the joke of the day. Malachi, take it away. Okay. Hi, guys, it's Malachi. Why is the cell phone scared to go to the dentist? I don't, um, because it was, has, because he didn't want to remove his little tail. Bye, guys. Bye, Malachi. That is funny. He didn't want it to, Bluetooth, right, on the phone? Got it, Malachi. That was awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, we have got to get praying and we've got to get ready for our lesson, kids. It is time to dive into God's word. And today we're talking praying. And so we want to um, learn some skills and some tools to help us pray. And so let's go ahead and invite God into our time today. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we're just about ready to dive into your word. We're going to be in the book of Ephesians today. And so, Lord, would you be with us? Would you open up our, our eyes and our ears to hear your words today? And Lord, I pray that you would give us wisdom and knowledge to understand. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, my friend Charlotte has got the verse of the day for us. So Charlotte, take it away. Hi Trinity Kids, it's Charlotte. Here is the verse for the week, Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Bye. Bye-bye. 
Well, Charlotte got that verse in her heart, and so kids, it's time to get that verse in our hearts as well. So this verse comes from Jeremiah 29, 12. Okay, are you guys ready? Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and, and I will listen to you. Now kids, that is a great verse. God is saying, He's going to listen to our prayers, right? And so Jeremiah Jeremiah is a prophet and he's telling people, you can call on God and he's going to listen to you. And I love that verse. And I love it so much that we're going to say it again, kids. So are you guys ready to say it? I need to hear you really, really loud. Can you hear me? All right. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 11. I am so thankful that Jeremiah gave us that verse to remind us that we can call on God and we can come to him and we can pray to him. That is a great, great verse. All right, kids. Well, let's start with our objective and our bottom line for today's lesson. The objective, kids, you will learn how the word talk T-A-L-K will help you um, grow in your prayer life with God. And then the bottom line, kids, is prayer means talking with God, having a conversation back and forth, talking with Him. I love that. And that is going to be our bottom line. Well, kids, it's question time. You know how this works. I ask the questions and then you guys write down your answers in the comments below. But today I have a surprise for you. I've got more than one question. I've got more than two questions. I've got more than three questions. I've got a whole list of them, but they're quick questions and they're pretty much most of them are all yes and or no questions. All right, are you guys ready to go? They're gonna, I'm gonna go through them quick, so be ready. The first question is, does anyone here like to talk on the phone. Any of you guys like to talk on the phone? Do any of you talk on the computer like Zoom? Well, I hope most of you guys' answer is yes because you guys have to do school on Zoom. So I'm, I'm hoping that one's a yes. And who do you like to talk to on the phone? Who is that person that you like to talk to? Now that's more than a yes or no. That's the name's person of a name. And then the next question, how many of you have cell phones? Do you guys already have a cell phone? Maybe some of you do, maybe, I hope most of you guys don't. And then how many of your parents have cell phones? Do your parents have cell phones? Probably, probably yes, right? I'm, a, I'm assuming yes. Now I know that was a lot of questions, kids, but it's question time and we have a lot of fun with it. So kids, would you agree with me that talking with, them, talking with people is very important to us? Hmm, I think so. It is very, it is pretty easy to do, right? All you gotta do is pick up the phone, hit a button, slide the screen and start dialing a number. It's pretty easy, right? We have phones to talk on. We have computers to talk on. We even have Xbox gaming system that you can talk to a friend while you're playing in the game. And there's so many other ways. Pretty cool, right? Technology is pretty amazing. Now kids, when I was a kid, this type of phone didn't even exist. Let me just tell you that. In fact, in my house, we had one phone and that one phone was hooked to the kitchen wall and that one phone had one really long cord hanging from it. And if you wanted to talk to somebody, you had to pick up that phone, you had to push buttons to dial the number, and then you had to pull that cord all the way back down into your room if you wanted to have a private conversation with somebody. One phone, that's the only device, that was the only thing you could actually talk on to talk to somebody. Crazy, right? It's hard for you guys to even imagine that, right? And then, to take it a few steps further, today, we can even talk in our vehicles. As a kid, I couldn't even imagine being able to talk in a vehicle. Now, remember, only the passengers can drive, can talk on the phone. So, 
phones are pretty much can be used pretty much anywhere, right? Um, you can talk to somebody in the mountains. You can talk to somebody on the beach. You can talk to people pretty much everywhere. And we make talking on the phone so, so easy. And we can talk to people anytime, right? So kids, I've got one more question for you. And it's the big question. And the big question I have for you guys today is, why is it so hard to spend time talking with God then? If we have the availability and it's so easy to talk this way, why is it so hard to talk this way? Meaning talking up to God, right? Why is it? Well, we don't see him. So sometimes we forget to pray. That might be one reason. Or we don't know how to talk to God. But kids, today, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to talk to God. Sometimes we might question whether God is really listening. But kids, if you remember the verse that we talked about, what did that verse say? God listens to our prayers, right? We can be reassured by learning that verse that we talked about today, that God listens to our prayers. How many of you think your problems are just too small? That, you know what, God doesn't need to be bothered by that. Friends, God wants to hear about the small problems, the big problems, and everything in between. He just likes to talk with you. How many of you think your problems are just um, not, that, that maybe God doesn't even want to hear about them? He does. Trust me. He wants to hear about them. So why is it important for us to talk with God? I've got three points I want to share with you. Number one, God wants us to know him. That's right. He wants to know, he wants to, he wants you to know about him. And God really does answer prayers, you guys. I have seen God answer prayers time and time again. And number three, God loves us through the prayer time. He loves us through. I I think it's so important to intercede and pray for others. It is so important to pray through, not just one time, but maybe we need to pray two or three things, two or three times about that one thing. So kids, today we're gonna learn about how to pray. Remember, it's as simple as talking to somebody that is in your house or across the street or down the block. God loves to hear and talk with us. So I'm going to use the word talk as a way to share a way to, of how to talk to God. The word T-A-L-K. So let's talk about the first one. Letter T. Take time to pray, right? We can't forget about God because God is real and alive. We may, may not be able to see with, see our eye, put our eyes on him, but God is there. Remember, it's faith, right? So take time to pray. Oh, A is, oh, quiet. You might have to find a quiet spot in your house to maybe just separate yourself so that you can have time to talk with God. The letter L, learn from God's word how to pray, right? So just like when I prayed at the beginning and when we were praising God, I used a verse to pray through while I was praying. So you can learn a lot about praying just by reading God's word. And K, oh, let's talk about the letter K. We've got to, we've got to keep a prayer plan. Kids, it just takes a piece of paper and a pen. 
And when you have that piece of paper and a pen, you're going to write down your prayer request. You're going to talk to friends and maybe ask them if there's something that you need to pray about. Just like Bella did. She called up her friend and she asked her, hey, do you have a prayer request I could pray for you? And then maybe you want to write down some words about God um, uh, that you that you're learning by reading in God's word. You may want to put down, maybe I need to talk to God at eight o'clock in the morning or at 11 o'clock or two o'clock. Just begin to write down these things and I trust you. It will become a habit and you'll be able to get on your way to a great prayer journey with God. So when, um, when we begin to understand how to pray, there are different kinds of prayers that you can pray. So I have four of them that I want to share with you. Number one is praise, praising God. Number two is intercession prayer, and that is praying for others, right? Confession is the third, and thanksgiving prayers is the number four one. So now today, we are going to focus on the first one, and that is prayers of praise. A praise prayer is a prayer praising God for who he is. Praise is saying that you love something that you love about someone. So what do you love about God? Do you love that, um, that, uh, that, that he can, that he made the oceans, that he puts all the stars in the sky every night? Do you love him because, um, he is your refuge, that he is someone that you can run to? Do you love him because he loves you so much? Those are ways that we can praise God. Kids, it's time to grab our Bibles. I've got a passage in the book of Ephesians that I want to share with you guys today. And I think it's really important that we dive into God's word today so that we can learn um, how to use his words for prayer. So if you guys will join me, we are going to turn to page... I don't have it up there, but it is on page one, two, nine, six. And we are going to be reading Ephesians one verses six through eight. All right. Are you guys there yet? Okay. Verse six to the praise of his glory, glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves in him. We have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sin in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavishes on us with all wisdom and understanding. I love that. Now that answers why we praise God, right? I love how Paul, the writer of Ephesians, um, broke down why we praise God. And let me break it down for you guys. Let's, let's, let's break it down together. Number one, we praise God for his grace. That's what Paul said. Number two, we praise God for his kindness. Number three, we praise God for the freedom he gave us through his son. And number four, we praise God for forgiveness of our sins. And the last one, We praise God for wisdom and understanding that he gives each and every one of us. Wow. Woo! Now that is amazing, right, kids? So, kids, when you pray a prayer of praise, God is worthy of our praises. And I've got one more verse I want to share with you guys. It is from the book of Psalms. It's uh, chapter 145, verse three. It says, great is the Lord. He is worthy of praise. No one can measure up to his greatness. Now, that is that is exactly why I wanted to share, share this verse with you guys, kids. It's because um, it's a part of how we, how we talk with God, right? It goes with the letter L. We learn from God's word, right? So this verse falls into the letter L that we talked about when we were talking about the word talk, okay? So we learn that God is worthy of, his, of our praises. So kids, as we close out today, 
Remember the word talk. Remember each letter and what it means. Let's review. T, take time to pray. A is, ah, oh, quiet. Go find that quiet spot. Learn, L, learn from God's word, just like we learned from, the, from Psalm 145. God is worthy of our praises. K, keep a prayer plan. Start it today. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen, and off you go. Friends, I have my friend Braylon with us, and she's going to close us out with the benediction. So if you guys could stand and hold out your hands and receive the blessing. Braylon? Please hold out your hands with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. You are sent. That's right. That is right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Braylon. Kids, I just want to remind you, if you want to join us here live, we gather at 1045 on Sunday mornings and we have a fun time together. Kids, it has been great being with you. Remember, start that prayer plan. Bye for now, kids. Have a great day.